Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, in the studio, we've got something a little out of the norm, something a little unusual. Check this thing out. What the heck? This is the brand new lap steel from Pauletti. Now, as you guys may know, I'm fortunate enough to own one of their S-style guitars and T-style guitars. So the guys from Pauletti reached out and they're like, Daryl, how would you like to try out our brand new lap steel? And I was like, yeah, this thing looks super cool. It's built just like their solid body guitars with, you know, reclaimed chestnut wood from the 1800s. All this brass with wonderful patina on it. You know, built just like their solid body guitars. There's just one problem. I was like, guys, I don't play lap steel. I think you should find somebody, you know, who plays lap steel to try this thing out. And in, you know, typical Italian uh, <laughs> hospitality, they're like, ah, oh, Daryl, stop making a fuss. Take it, try it out, enjoy it. So here we are. We've got the brand new lap steel from Pauletti, and we're gonna check this thing out. Now, one of my biggest guitar heroes and influences actually made massive use of the lap steel. We're talking about David Gilmore. Some of his most emotional and evocative and, you know, atmospheric guitar parts were actually not done on a Strat, but on a lap steel. If you listen carefully, it's all over Pink Floyd Records, and in that context, really gives the songs, you know, a really kind of haunting and emotional quality. So. You know, many of you might be, you know, familiar with lap steels from country music. Uh, I'm more familiar, you know, with it from David Gilmore. So anyway, we're going to try this thing out, see what kind of tones we can get out of it. Should be a lot of fun. Right, so let's quickly take a tour through this thing and find out what it's all about. Now the lap steel comes in this really nice Paoletti case, holds everything safe and secure. You've got your legs that get stored right here. Of course, we'll install those when we go to play it. And as I mentioned, yes, just like their guitars, the lap steel also is reclaimed chestnut wood from the 1800s and has wonderful brass all over it, including, you know, on the fingerboard guide here, just, you know, wonderful patina that'll probably, you know, age with you over time. So very wonderful. Now up on the headstock here, we've got our kind of drop in tuning system, uh, vintage style buttons. This is by Clusen. So it should hold tune really well. The next thing I noticed was this massive brass nut. <laughs> Just this thick bar of brass. Uh, kind of gives you like hope that it's going to sound awesome because it looks awesome. Uh, down on the, the other side here, we also have a T-style pickup and a couple of the Pauletti, you know, custom shotgun shell knobs look very, very cool. Now on the bridge side, Guess what? Another giant bar of brass. So you've got one on the nut, one on the bridge, and this actually has a trim system, just like their guitars. So you can drop in a bar. Uh, it's got a set screw, so it'll hold where you want it, and you can use the trim. Now, the only thing we really need to do is set up the legs so that we can have this just at the height we want. All the legs are fully adjustable. So we'll just kind of screw it in. Very secure, kind of like brass bushings here. Obviously, three different legs to uh, install, and then we're ready to go. So here's a look at the lap steel all set up. So on this side, we've got our volume and tone, and on this side, we've got our tuning machines, and I have this set up a few inches off my lap, just sort of in a comfortable zone for my hands. And uh, here's a quick look at the feet. Hopefully you guys can see there's measurements on all of the legs. So if you have, you know, a preferred height, you can easily, you know, equalize the height between the legs or, you know, even tilt it a little bit more towards you, whatever's, you know, most comfortable. Uh, you can set it up like that, but that's just kind of a quick look at the setup. All right, you guys, let's test this thing out. I've got my metal slide here and I've tuned up to an open D chord, which is, you know, definitely more of like a bluesier vibe. <laughs> So much fun. I've got, you know, a little bit of overdrive on there as well, just to kind of give it that grittiness, right? So super, super cool. And of course this does, I'm just gonna change the focus on the camera here. It does have like two full octaves. 
And then, of course, then some, you know, and that's, you know, we were talking about Gilmore before, you know, just kind of taking some of that atmospheric stuff. You can go all the way up. Very, very cool. All right, now let's try out some classic clean tones. And of course you can do all sorts of, you know, double stops and, and two note combinations. Lots of stuff that's really, really fun. So really cool stuff. And of course with your right hand you can do all sorts of strumming, finger picking patterns, you know, different string combinations. And you can even do, you know, like full patterns. So really the sky's the limit just with, you know, experimenting between different strings. And, uh, you know, just having a lot of fun. Now, if you're looking for more of that Gilmore tone, try adding a touch of overdrive, some delay and reverb, and have some fun. Those delay trails are just so much fun. So many different little atmospheric things, even, you know, just like basic things going back and forth between, you know, a couple frets or whatever sounds really cool when you have that kind of slow slide with those effects. You know, you can almost hear some of those Floyd songs in there. Very fun. Now, unlike a capo, you can actually easily manipulate notes from behind the bar, which gives you some fun and interesting tones. And on this string in open D tuning, it moves us from our major third to our fourth. So, sus4 chord. So, that's, you know, pretty fun. You can hit chords. Sort of almost like a pedal steel or like a B bender. So, so there's some really, you know, fun and interesting techniques as well. So the Pauletti lap steel was a ton of fun to play. And I gotta say, it does give off the same vibes as their guitars, really focusing on that 150 year old chestnut body using kind of vintage color paints, uh, very faded so you can see that chestnut grain move throughout the entire instrument. Very beautiful. And I gotta say, this Pauletti logo here is gorgeous. Cut out of brass. Uh, you can see kind of like the patina and the faded uh, aspect of that. And it's affixed with like brass tacks. Everything looks gorgeous. So very, you know, vintage vibe when you just like pick it up, just like their guitars. You know, when I, when I say I pick up a Pauletti, it just has that worn in kind of broken feeling that just makes you want to pick it up and play it. And this definitely has, you know, some of that same aesthetics. So very, very cool from that aspect. Thanks so much for watching. I will drop links to Pauletti in the video description below. All my stuff will be down there as well. Tab store, t-shirt store, gear I use, all of that's down there. Feel free to check it out. Other than that, have yourself a great day.